What I like here is this mixture of balls, knowledge and quality. Nevada Gränchen. I think the company is basically a project manager with an old brand name. But it constantly brings watches that are reissues, but they look fresh, bold, not tasteless and in nearly every case unique. We've seen the Antarctic Spider here for example and that was just a crazy watch. Like a white suit from the 60s, but it actually was fun to wear it. Or take the Chronomaster I've worn for a while. There it was the immaculate manufacturing quality that justified the rather high price. And now they are bringing back the Antarctic Diver with the same energetic approach. A watch you can spot from a distance, a watch with a role model from the late 50s. But let's check the specifications first now. We have an automatic watch with a case diameter of 38mm, a length lug to lug of 45 and a thickness of 12.9mm. The lug width is 20. The watch is equipped with a sapphire crystal, a screw down crown and has a water resistance of 200 meters. The bezel works unidirectional, the insert is made of ceramic. And our movement is the Soprod P024, more of that later. The watch comes on a rubber strap or a beads of rice bracelet and the price is 815 euros or 900 US dollars indicated without VAT. Now let's start with the key design elements. The watch is slightly scaled up. The original came in 36.5, now we have 38. And first thing you may notice are the hands. Big, boxy, legible, absolutely not elegant, but they deliver this contrast to the black dial. This looks useful, especially when you add the loom here. From the old diver they took the indices, so the decision not to use these fat dots, like for example Baltic or Oris. Here you have a strong connection from the dial to the bezel with these indices. Remarkable is of course also the loop over the date window. This is not a modern gimmick, you find these loops also on old watches, but then made of plexiglass. It never was a feature only used by Rolex. From the old models they also adopted the crosshair, here in red, very subtle but it delivers some depth. Now let's flip the watch around, solid case back with a penguin engraved. Under that now you find the Soprod P024 and that's in fact the good old ETA2824-2 with the well known specs. So operating at 28,800 beats with a power reserve of 38 hours. In this case manufactured by Soprod which is a part of the Festina group. You find that movement in various Nevada Grenchen watches and also in other rather smaller brands. Often seen as that manufacturers start with Soprod and change then to Solita or ETA, for example Stova or Steinhardt. That doesn't mean that the Soprod is bad, because again, in fact, it's a 2824 clone, but apparently it's just easier to sell the name ETA or Solita. On the other hand, it is reported that Soprods are more affordable. And that's our last keyword, price. You can get all these elements and specs for less than these 815 euros or 900 US, but despite that I find the price okay. And the reason is that I've handled quite some Nevada Grenchen watches and they feel good. They are immaculate products with, and that's the important addition, with a well-made design. It's not a copy, it's not an invention, it's a real modern vintage watch, tough like hell, and I personally like that a lot. Alright, availability from May the 25th on this watch will be in the Nevada Grenchen online shop. And that said, allow me to close this episode, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week. Music